tell me why I am feeling invisible. Tell me why nobody is noticing me. Because I do not understand. I do not understand. Why is it that I feel like a normal human being? Why do I feel like a normal human being? Hey guys, hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, you are so, so, so welcome. So my name is Lena and in today's video, I am going to tell you guys about my first impression about Lisbon. Okay? Yes. So this is quite funny. In any case, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, go down below and subscribe. I did a video where I did Geography Now, a reaction to Geography Now Portugal. So if you want me to see you know me learning about portugal before coming here just go ahead and check it out i'll link it right up here if you also want to see a little bit of the things i've done like my first week in portugal i'll also link hey guys i'm just sharing my experiences with you so i hope you like it anyways in today's video i just wanted to tell you guys or talk to you guys about my experiences here um experiences i mean i wouldn't call them experiences but i'll just say the things that I have observed. So I've been here for a week, a little over a week, like a week and some few days, okay? Not even two weeks. And um, it has really, really been different. When I say different, I mean different. So, in a certain way, it all feels very, very weird. And it's not even supposed to feel weird, but from coming from where I am coming from, okay, it feels weird, okay. So I am coming from Italy, okay. I left Italy and I came to Lisbon and I'm having, I mean, listen, I am just having to unlearn certain things. And certain things in a very very positive way because in Italy I was used to live in a certain way I was used to being seen in a certain way in case you haven't seen my video where I talked about being black in Italy go ahead and check it out it's all there okay in Italy it's a totally different atmosphere and over here is a totally totally different atmosphere now let me tell you that before I even came here um when i knew i was going to come here i was like okay fine let me just go and check on youtube and see if people have any any bad um things to say about portugal it might sound very very weird but i really wanted to brace myself because like saying that or like i said i come from a very different reality okay so having to deal with all that I mean, having to deal with all that trash, um, being black in Italy, it became like the norm. And so I kind of expected every other country to behave like that. And so I was already looking into Lisbon, looking into Portugal and seeing if there is that kind of trash here as well when it comes to, you know, um, being a certain different skin color so i did that i checked a couple of youtubers out and honestly whatever they said i have not experienced that i'm saying i'm here for just a week i've been here for just a week and so of course there are things that i still haven't experienced or there are things that i am not aware of but generally it has been amazing guys it has been amazing so one of the things that I felt when I came here was the feeling of invisibility okay when I say I feel invisible I don't mean that in a negative way um, you know sometimes people are like oh you need to stand out and all of that when I say I feel invisible, I mean it in a very, very positive way because coming from a certain reality where you are always that one black girl, you are always that one, you know, where you feel all eyes on you, when you feel like not wanted, when you feel like people are just staring at you, like it made me feel like I was always a center of attraction 
always, you know, it, go and watch my video, okay? Um, but when I came here, I did not feel like that. The feeling of everybody being tolerant, the feeling of, you know, just seeing people who look like me, um, just doing regular jobs, just doing regular jobs, guys. If you go to Italy, you will never, ever see a person of color standing behind a counter. Like maybe once in every 100 shops, you would see that. One in 100 shops, you will see that. But on a regular, it is not, it's not normal. It's not normal. So I remember when I came, like the first day I came, I was actually waiting for the person to show me the house or to show me the room I had um, rented. And whilst she was on her way coming, I was still downstairs with my luggage and everything. And I looked across the street and there was this cafe or this bar, whatever you want to call it. And it had a black girl in there who was serving. And I'm like, okay, I see one person who looks like me serving at a bar. This is not supposed to be um, new to me. This is not supposed to wow me, but it did. It actually did. And um, a couple of days after, I was just walking, going to the tram um, to get my metro. And I was walking past and I see another girl at a restaurant and she's a waitress. And then I go out with a couple of friends and like at the restaurant or wherever, I see waitresses. I go to the mall, I see people who look like me just doing regular jobs. just so, And I'm like, whoa. But I mean, it felt, it felt really, really different. It shouldn't have felt different, but it felt very, very different. And that is something I'm like, wow, this shouldn't be. Um, why is it that in certain countries you have this kind of reality and in other countries you have a certain different type of reality? Now, I do understand that maybe Portugal is different. Of course, it is different. Um, Portugal, like they have a history of um, colonialism, they have a history of, you know, just um, kind of invading other countries and whatever. So probably they are just used to having different people around. But it just really, really felt weird. It felt weird and it shouldn't have felt weird. But I mean, my first thing, the first thing I felt going to the mall was the feeling of invisibility. I was no longer that one person. I was no longer that person of color who was just going around the mall. I was just a regular person, just walking down the streets, just doing any regular thing without anybody looking at her as if she was an alien and all of that. It felt really weird. I know I've said that a hundred times, but yeah, that was, Kind of like one of my first impressions um the second thing i noticed coming here was the fact that people are very 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 responsible there is a sense of responsibility for everybody and i'm talking about when it comes to the rona you guys know rona right when it comes to wearing the face mask and you know just keeping a distance and people just um just following the necessary things they need to do to just prevent the spread of this virus and whatever it it felt different like i remember walking down the streets and seeing people wear face masks and i'm like why is everybody so serious with wearing face masks and listen i'm not even lying that was because even <laughs> this might sound weird it's not like i'm trying to bash where I come from, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to bash like Italy or anything, but there is this sense of responsibility, if you understand what I mean. Sorry guys, if you guys see anything at the background, it's just, I think it's my neighbors, yeah. But in any case, everybody is just trying to stay protected, everybody's trying to wear a mask, even just going down the streets. Like, listen, I went to the bank, was going to do certain things, and every few seconds these people clean their stuff like they clean their you know their tablets 
which is the teller area, everything is being sanitized. I was paying for um, my ticket on a bus and even before the driver touched the money, he had to spray on it. Like that is how these guys are taking this seriously. And that is totally, totally different. Like I came and I really wanted to go out with, um, with a friend and this person told me that everything is closed after eight and I'm like what everything is closed after eight <gasps> go to Italy go to where I'm coming from now and nothing is closed after eight we are just being left to do whatever we want to do no sense of responsibility I know you have seen the meme non ce n'è covid non ce n'è okay Yes, that should make you understand that we don't take things seriously, but I realize that over here, everybody's taking things very, very seriously. People are just, you know, rules are rules. Everything is closed at eight, even if it's like two minutes to eight. If you go and you ask for a bottle of water, they're probably not going, they're probably not going to give it to you because, because yes. Um. So yeah, that is one thing I noticed, like, the way people are very very serious when it comes to you know sanitizing and when it comes to just keeping distances and just observing proper proper um you know measures to avoid the spread of this nasty disease um yeah that is that is one okay another thing i also noticed was that everybody speaks english guys it's insane everyone speaks english and it kind of like you know i when i did the video and i did the geography now video i was actually asking if it's okay for me to speak like spanish or to speak italian people understand me guys you don't even have that problem if you speak english you are good to go it feels like every portuguese knows how to speak english now i asked why and i was told that most of the tv programs are not dubbed like if a program is in english they're not going to translate that into um into portuguese like you kind of you just have to watch the program and just read the subtitle uh, you just have to watch the program and read the subtitles in portuguese so that makes sense why people are used to English language and why almost everybody speaks English language. I'm not trying to do an Italy versus Portuguese stuff, but you do realize that most Italians do not speak English and that is because every single program is being dubbed. Every single program is being translated. So you realize that when you do not have this upbringing of constantly hearing a language, you tend to not want i mean it just becomes difficult for you to learn it but the approach the portuguese use when it comes to dealing with the english language i do not know how they do this in schools and whatever but i have only i've only heard about the fact that most of the tv programs that is in a foreign language is not dubbed so that makes sense why almost every single person speaks english i also noticed that like you know Communication is not even it's not very difficult. If you speak English, speak English. Like I went to the mall and I had a full conversation with this person over there. Like these people are just so so nice. They are so so friendly. It's insane. I'm not used to any of those things, and that is just it annoys me. But it doesn't annoy me. I'm like I'm not supposed to be like that, but yeah when you have lived in a place for a long time the way people think and the things that people do kind of becomes your norm and so me going to the mall me going to places and you know having um these people who work in these stores have a full conversation with you just it was it was amazing guys it was amazing everything has been so fun communication wise great these people speak every language listen throw french in their face and they're going to speak french with you throw i don't know about spanish though because i tried to speak spanish with a bus driver when i was trying to get um him to tell me um when we got to a stop no it actually wasn't the bus driver 
I was looking for direction from a different person and I spoke Spanish to this person and the person just replied me in English. And I'm like, how do you even know I speak English? I asked you a question in Spanish and you're replying me in English. In any case, <laughs> yeah, um, I guess they do understand every single language. I mean, so far as I'm concerned, every single person I've tried to talk to in, in English just spoke perfect English. Every person I tried to speak um, Spanish to understood, of course, you would understand because Spanish, Portuguese is almost the same thing. But yeah, communication is a breeze communication is a breeze do you know what we're about not being a, be, being able to communicate they're going to understand you another thing is that they are very very friendly now i think this comes with the communication i already mentioned that they are very friendly guys there's no single person i have tried to ask for help going to a place or asking for something that the person has just walked off nobody does that like it's not like I'm trying to bash my Italians. I'm not trying to bash you guys. But it is so, so annoying when you're trying to ask for help and nobody is willing to help you, mostly because of maybe your skin color, which shouldn't be the case. But I have not had that experience anywhere. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Never say never. Maybe I will. But at the moment, Every single person I have stopped, stopped. Every single person, even when I had a camera, like just walking around, every single person I have stopped, stopped. Every single person I asked a question, took time, okay? Stood, took time and gave me the right direction. And I'm like, wow. You know, sometimes back home, I'll be so scared to even approach people because I don't want to, like, I don't want them to be like, no, 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 I don't want them to do that. And so before approaching somebody, I would just, I would have to think like three times before approaching a person. But here I'm like, let me just go for it. And it works every time. Nobody, like, they're very, very respectful, very tolerant, very accepting of people. That is nice. Um, another thing I noticed is also the cost of living. So the cost of living, obviously, everything is cheap. Everything is cheap. But let me just make a silly example. I went to make photocopies to get, um, you know, just to get some documents, photocopied and everything. And I asked and the person was like five cents per paper. And I'm like, just five cents? Just five cents. Yes. Um, and then I, ch I started to compare it to why is it that it's 20 cents in Italy and why is it that it's just 5 cents here. Yeah. That is a silly um, comparison, but yeah, that is just to tell you that things are a lot cheaper. Another example is me getting my criminal records. So before coming here, I had to get criminal records and everything just for contract for my work and stuff like that. And um, I was like, okay, let me just do it. Of course, I thought I just had to do it in Italy. And so I did it in Italy. Guess how much I paid for that? I paid 115 euros. 115 euros for criminal records. For criminal records, okay? And that is just including, um, like, I think the normal, the normal one is like 50 euros. But this is just including the legalization stuff, the fact that you're using it to work abroad and blah, blah, blah. It was 115 euros. And then um, I came and I asked a couple of people like how, um, how much they paid for criminal records. And they're like, they did it here and they paid five euros. Guys, five euros, five. And I'm like, you paid five euros? And I had to pay 115 euros. How does that match? How does that match? By any case, yes, I had to pay that. And that should tell you that things are a lot, lot cheaper. I'm not even going to talk about food and stuff like that. Things are very, very cheap. And transportation, another thing, transportation works very well. There's everything you need, guys. If you do not have a car, it's fine. You're still going to get to wherever you need to get to regardless, okay? There are a lot of options. You can rent a motorbike, you can rent these scooters, you can rent bicycles, you can rent a car, you can rent anything. Bus system works absolutely fine. 
the matches they work absolutely fine the trains work fine okay now i am talking about lisbon because i am in lisbon and so that is just what i know i do not know about other cities and i do not know about other places but one what i know here and what i have seen is that transportation works fine um yeah like i said you can rent anything guys all these scooters are just lying around anywhere everywhere you can literally spot them everywhere all these motorbikes are you can spot them anywhere and that is just one of the cool things i like here the fact that you know you don't want you don't have to worry about transportation um I wouldn't say buses come every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes, it would depend on where you're going but at least you know that in an hour you have a bus coming like 3 times okay so that is good enough, that is good enough. Like I said this is just for where I live, that is just what I've noticed. In other places I don't know how the system works but for here I have noticed that everything when it comes to transportation works fine people okay now this is not really regarding transportation but there is this thing where people just cross the streets even when the light says red okay now that is something i've had to adjust to and trust me now i'm a pro when i have to cross the street i just look here look here no car is coming and i cross okay i think people do that because I don't know maybe people are just responsible when it comes to driving maybe people are just you know there's just this sense of you know security even when you're just crossing the streets people are not madly and insanely driving around so I think that is why people don't even look like they don't even think twice and just cross the streets I had to be like oh my god it's red why are you crossing and then I just understood that you know it's okay like I mean it's not okay because if the stop sign says you should stop you should stop but there's this thing where even if the stop sign says stop people just walk like people just cross the streets anyway and um, yeah like I've had to learn that <laughs> I have had to learn that um, but like I said I mean it's probably just normal it's not supposed to be because you're supposed to stop when it says stop but in any case yes that is it um what is another thing i have noticed oh the food so i have tasted a couple of food and i've noticed that it's generally salty i don't know if it's just me because i in particular i do not like a lot of salty stuff like even when i cook people are always people just remind me to put salt in my food because i just do the i just do the bare minimum when it comes to salt but i've noticed that people here just go in for the salt like the salt Mm. they just they just drop the salt in the stuff and yeah um, but I mean that is just I don't know I don't know if it's just the places I've just eaten or if it's just the food I've just tasted but I just realized that the salt is quite something so yeah um, okay so another thing I also noticed was the fact that shops are open shops are open every single time I don't know exactly when they close but I do know that during lunch breaks they're still open the banks do not close at 12 something and open at 3 like stores or whatever do not close at 12 and open at 3 like most places do where I come from okay so I remember the first couple of days and um, whenever I, I think I got I was supposed yeah no I had an appointment at around 12-ish, 31, I think around 1, and I was thinking, wait, I, 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 listen, I remember I was feeling guilty because I was like, oh my god, this person is not going to go on lunch break because I am going to be there at this appointment time. And then I realized, wait, but I mean, it's probably normal, and then yes, other people told me oh like when I talked to like some of my colleagues they also had appointments at a certain time like 12 30 some 1 30 and all of that and I was like oh okay so I guess it's pretty normal yes it is pretty normal shops do not close at 12 30 now I know for people in different countries that might be the norm okay for people in different countries yes you probably have shops opening like 24 7 you probably have 
and all these places not closing like banks post offices um, just general places not closing at a certain time but this is my reality from where I am coming from we do have all I live close to the airport guys so yes this is my norm planes every single time in any case like I was saying mm, that was my norm the fact that after 12 30 or 1 o'clock most places are closed just became my norm and then when I came here I was expecting them to also close at that time but of course it doesn't work like that so yes that is another thing um, so yeah generally I feel like I feel more at ease I feel more accepted I feel listen this is dark girl approved country this is a dark melanin skin color chocolatey girl approved city and country that I can tell you like I said this is just my first day here okay I've just been here for a week and so who knows the story might change but I think the first impressions are always like they always tell you something about the country like the first impressions are always always very important and the fact that after a week here I feel like oh this is a nice place talks it just makes sense now now even before doing this video I asked a certain people about how they feel about this country okay so I know you guys I told you about in my previous video I told you guys that I have been seeing other people yes I used Tinder just to connect with other people who live here like other foreign people especially Italians because of course I felt like I could control the conversation more when I'm with Italians rather than just Portuguese and stuff just because I wanted to avoid the whole date thing and just I really wanted to make it feel more like I was connecting to other people who were from the same place as I am and um, yeah in some of these conversations that I would have with people I just ask them I'll just ask them how they felt about moving to Lisbon or how they felt about you know just choosing Portugal and everything and none of them no single one of them have told me that they I mean that they don't like the city no single one of them everybody have had positive things to say about the city the country um, the fact that you have nice places to go to the fact that you have the sea the beach whatever you want to call it you have just nice and amazing people people are tolerant and people are just nice in general it's just nice it's just amazing and I feel like yeah I'm enjoying myself here at the moment I'm loving it and I just hope you know just to I, I'm, I'm just liking it I'm just loving it and like I said I do not have any bad experiences at the moment so um, I think I just had a little minor one but I mean it wasn't it's not that important the only thing I have to say is that um, being here for a week has been very very nice uh, me feeling very me feeling invisible is almost weird to me but I guess that is just how it is and the people are just very nice and like I said do not even um, think twice about coming to visit Lisbon do not think twice about coming to visit Portugal because you would love it you would love the people you would love the food you would love the atmosphere everybody's just chilled and laid back you don't hear lots of noise well I do hear some noise um, because right below me there's this house right over there and um, they have all these um, family dinners and stuff like that music so yeah I do hear all of that but apart from that it's a pretty pretty short country and yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys loved Lisbon or if you guys loved Portugal when you first came here let me know okay because I don't think I'm the only person that would be weird 
if I'm the only person that would be fair, very weird. But let me know how, what your experiences were, how you felt the first time you came here. Like, yeah, just let me know. And like I said, I'll post all the other videos that are connected to, you know, living in Italy and um, just living in Italy and also being here. I'll just post all those videos down in the description so if you're interested go, and go ahead and search for it if you want me to do a comparison video with me living in italy and me living here when it comes to maybe dating when it comes to school well when it comes to work because i haven't schooled yet so i wouldn't know when it comes to work when it comes to all those things just let me know and i am also trying to learn portuguese so listen guys in a month I will be here speaking Portuguese with you. That is a challenge. That is something I have set for myself to be able to learn Portuguese because I hate it when people do not understand me. So yeah, I'm trying to learn. And you know, who knows? Who knows? I'll be here making a full Portuguese video. That would be so nice. And yeah, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Stay blessed and...